the most important thing is, is how to enable my students to learn. I actually try to play a little bit of a agent provocateur. <laughs> Pardon my French, it's probably lousy. <laughs> but uh, the point is that uh, I want to shock them a little bit uh, in the beginning when I walk into the class, and it doesn't matter whether it's a small class or a large class, I say, you know what, I'm not here to teach you. And I pause, and usually I get a couple of startled looks like, huh, she's not here to teach, so what are you doing here? And I say, I'm here to help you learn. And that sort of sets the mood that there is a certain expectation that this is a partnership, that uh, they are going to gain by being involved in the process. And um, it's my honest and deep belief that the way people learn best is by being engaged. And you know, it's the, that old saying that's going around that says that uh, we only remember and never mind learn, but just remember only about 10% of what we hear, about 30% what we see, which of course it's a big thing about visualization helping to uh, reduce cognitive load. But uh, we remember about 50% of what we see and do and about 90% when we actually get to explain what we do to somebody else. So this is the whole point. And the challenge with a large class becomes how to keep the level of engagement and how to accomplish what you uh, set out to do, which is to keep your students involved uh, in a setting which may be uh, not as conducive as a smaller class. But it's a question of creativity and thinking about how you want to do that.